yeah! It's back to default is awesome. We're defaults, we're awesome. Uh, don't pick any of the other options. The default awesome, the default option is always the best option. Uh, anyway, I'm going back into Binding of Isaac because I was just watching back the video that I made yesterday. Well, yeah, did, I, did I make it? I don't even know. I'm keep. Uh, I'm losing all track of time. Uh, everything's wibbly wobbly. I don't know what's going on. Uh, so I was rewatching that video and I had a lot of thoughts. I, there was probably a lot of things that. I could have said, I probably could have worded differently, and I figured playing a little bit of more Binding of Isaac would be a perfect way to uh, get all that out there. I just got plus five poison bombs. Oh, it's a horrible night to have a curse. Let's do this. So, I think the main thing that I ask myself and I tug with, with myself a little bit is, do I regret not continuing with Default is Awesome? <laughs> Uh, especially because when I was 11 and I started the channel, you know, I was very, I really wanted to do it. I was excited to do it. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was 11. <laughs> then 12 came around, 13, 13 came around, and then 14 came around. I'm about to start high school. I got to start spending a bunch of time trying to fit in with people because it's high school. What else are you going to do? Uh, I ended up, you know, smoking weed and I got, just ended up, uh, Trying to become a rapper, putting a lot of time, effort, and energy into playing basketball. I might die here uh, against the Hollow, but I guess I guess we'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, trying to talk with one heart and uh, fighting this is going to be something. But yeah, so I, I, basically what I'm trying to get around is: Do I regret not continuing? Default is awesome, and the answer is absolutely, man. If I because the way that the algorithm boosted my videos, the way I look back and I see, like, Mo Creeps and Weirdos, the second video on my channel, go back into the history if you feel like it. I can't believe it. I'm really happy I did that. Uh, go back to that, and then you'll see that I, you know, that like, that video probably got maybe, like, 40 to 50 views by the time I quit YouTube. <laughs> maybe. I, I don't know. That's, like, a rough estimate. And then I go back, and then I see... That it has 950 views, and that's still not a lot. That's still a tiny channel, like given YouTube. But just the fact that it was able to, like, the algorithm was able to take it after a while. It was finally able to give it to the people that wanted to watch it. Especially now that I was talking about in the last episode of Binding of Isaac that the YouTube algorithm is kind of gearing towards, you know, younger, not, well, not younger, but, like, newer channels, more specialized towards niches, uh, and, like I said, like, my, so what, my niche is playing video games? No, my niche is being myself, everyone has their own niche, everyone's themselves, I brought Alex in for a couple of streams for the past four days, we just finished playing Chain together, uh, check that stream out, that, uh, while, I'm, that, while that one got a little tedious, it was a fun one, but basically, yeah, like, he has his own authentic personality, that's his own niche, and that's the that's kind of the thing, man. But, of course, there's also got to be an audience, because, like, if everyone was out there being themselves, and then no one, there was no audience, then what's even the point of, of any of that? So, I, I don't know, it's always just been kind of like an interesting platform, and the way it all kind of ties together. I've never, especially as an 11-year-old, I wasn't Friends able to figure it out. Friends to the end. Yeah, as an 11-year-old, I wasn't really able to figure it out, but now that I'm a little bit older... Okay, so this ties back to the question of, do I regret stopping Default is Awesome? And while yes, the answer is yes, it's also actually, I, I would actually take back the yes and say in a st uh, resounding no, because if I kept doing Default is Awesome, I wouldn't have had the experiences I've had, I wouldn't have had, you know, the kind of knowledge that I have now, the kind of, yeah, you know, like the, the kind of experiences, the kind of... I, I don't know what else to say other than my experiences. I also noticed that in... Oh, God. Um, I also noticed that in my last video that I would, you know, kind of repeat things. and they, I, That's another thing. I like to go back on my videos and kind of see how I act. Sorry, I'm going to focus on these things because I have half a heart. Uh, I, like to, I like to kind of, like, objectively look at how I'm talking or how I'm acting or how I'm playing a game or something like that, and then it'll kind of give me insight for next time, interestingly enough, so it, it, 
it's almost like a like a journal it's almost like kind of like a like a therapy in a way like coming on here and talking again it's not like i'm doing this to 14 million people on like a on a big live stream so i don't even know what the ecosystem of being a big channel would look like and that's something that you know that's that's a dream that i've had but in reality right now like the the drive the initial like feeling of starting the youtube channel with default is awesome what the hell okay so i just control this separately how am i going to control myself this and focus on talking and giving insightful things at the same okay binding of isaac i see how it is actually this isn't that hard oh god yeah it is um shit what was i talking about then uh no but yeah i wouldn't have had all the insight that i would have had and default is awesome would be completely different i wouldn't the, the the oh this is what I was saying the start of default is awesome with like the, the initial drive the initial like whirlwind the gust the adrenaline of starting this new uh, this new enterprise as a kid was resounding and I, I kept it going for a couple of years until eventually I that like there would I would start uploading videos like apologizing to my couple of viewers out there that I was. Uh, that, you know, I, I'm working on making videos, I'm just, you know, but I, I I never ended up staying consistent about it, long story short, and now I'm kind of feeling that same adrenaline again, like the adrenaline of starting back up, default is awesome, the adrenaline of starting back up, you know, the, this this drive that I had, this, this uh, you know, playing video games, coming on here, talking about whatever I want to, and just, you know, hanging out, uh, the now that it's the beginning again like it's very exciting but then eventually i know that this is going to be a grind and the thing is when i was a kid when i was 11 years old i didn't know that i didn't know how much of a grind that youtube would be sorry for stopping there i was kind of getting into the i was getting into the the cake of this this uh episode a little bit i didn't know what i was getting myself into in becoming a content creator at the young age of 11 12 13 all that like what am i supposed to do <laughs> So, you know, I, I end up going to live life, you know, I, I want to be one of these YouTubers that I, I love and I appreciate. I wanted to be like Game Grumps, I wanted to be like Chugga Conroy, I wanted to be like, th those are like two of the main ones I can think of. I want to be like C Nanners or uh, Captain Sparkles, uh, Yogscast, uh, stuff like that. When, you know, those were kind of my role models growing up. Those are the people who I watched when I was in a bad mood. Those are, the, those are who I watched and I want to spread the same kind of love, I want to spread the same kind of joy to others kids out there and the, to, to other people because we're all fucking one man we're all trying to do the same we're all just trying to make it in this world and sometimes we all just need a friend and honestly that's what those channels felt like a, a little bit and that's what i want to be to as many people as i can if i could be everyone's friend i think that would be pretty cool it would be pretty exhausting but uh that's what that's what this channel is for that way uh anyone who needs me anyone who needs my voice anyone who uh anyone who needs me around i'm here for you <laughs> That's what Default is Awesome is all about, and I'm happy to bring Alex onto it. I'm happy to bring Jamal back onto it. Uh, it uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna have friends. I'm gonna have guests. It's gonna be fun. Gonna have a lot of fun and wacky conversations. I'm sure. I'm probably gonna learn a lot about uh, how big of a piece of shit I am from the YouTube comments because we all know how YouTube comments are. And I'm you know I'm excited for every step of the way on it. And like I said, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into before. Uh, hold on here, I'm gonna focus on this. Yeah, as a kid, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but now that I'm an adult and I've had experience working in crazy, like, I've worked in some crazy places, man. Uh, what's clubs? Clubs is probably the bombs, I guess? Two. Okay, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've had a lot more life experience, you know, playing a lot, a lot of music, it, like, becoming cultured in, you know, music movies, uh, you know, going to school, you know, just learning about myself in the world, uh, got into some relationships. I, I have a lot more life experience that I could talk about than I that I wouldn't have talked about if I just took the path of being a kid who <laughs> just started a gaming channel uh, at the age of twelve, and then I just ended up doing that all the time. You know, I feel like the path that I took of quitting default is awesome, and then living my life in the way that I have. Whoa, yeah, really? Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, living my life in the way that I've, I've been living, I feel like it gives me a much more unique perspective, and it gives me a niche. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, you guys go out and live your life. To, if your thing is being the best gamer ever, or to just be like a really funny or a si little silly goose, and come on and play video games, that's cool. But you know, I guess my niche is uh, having lived the 
the last 10 years that I have without default is awesome, and now I have, uh, you know, some kind of... Now I have things to say, I guess, is the reason why I'm ha I'm so excited to start Default is Awesome back up again, because this was really, like, what I knew I wanted to do as a kid, you know, kind of have my own show, just talk about what I want, hang out, you know. Uh, but... I, I didn't know what the hell to talk about. What, what do you talk about when you're 11, 12, 13? You, know, you just talk about the video, or, or, like, I would sit here... That's a big thing I would remember. I'd be playing, like, Portal... Well, like, Portal, I had to, like... Portal was a little different. Uh, like Team Fortress 2 or Minecraft, I would be like sitting around in silence, just kind of like focusing on the game because I was so immersed. Because I was like a little 11, 12 year old kid who wanted to, be, you know, who was looking up to like Game Grumps and you know Yogscast and stuff like that. Yeah, I was, uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is, I had to grow. I had to grow. I had to change, and that's why I'm happy that I'm restarting. Default is awesome now. I'm 24 now, and I ended. Default is awesome when I was 14, so I do, you know, if I started it back up when I was 18, maybe that would be cool. Yeah, that, that way I would have a little bit more time. That way I probably could have, by this time in my life, I would have more of an audience. But at the same time, age doesn't matter. Life is a competition, but life's not a race. You know, no one's in a rush for anything. You know, anyone can do anything at any age. A lot of people get kind of discouraged when they think, oh, what the hell? A lot of people get kind of discouraged when they think about their age and the way it relates to their situation in life. But I say that kind of mindset's the only reason why you're not able to do anything in age. And actually, in age, you're able to do kind of cooler stuff because you have more life experience. You have more knowledge. And, like, um, this room's kind of freaking me out, so I'm just going to press that button. All right. <clears throat> So, I don't even know what room I'm in in this. I'm going to kind of, like, divert my attention back into the game for a second. Just because I, I more or less got what I needed to get out of the way. Like, I, I, I said what I needed to say. I, while, stati okay, while numerically I'm looking at the numbers and I'm like, wow, I really should have kept going with default is awesome. I could, I, this could be all I'm doing right now. I probably wouldn't have to work the jobs I'm working now. If I kept doing default is awesome because I know that the growth would have been exponential if I kept do you know keep doing what I'm doing and make my content better. But now default is awesome is going to be a completely different thing. Default is awesome is coming from an entirely different background, different experiences, in the kind of way that the 11 year old me wouldn't have been able to produce. And I think that that's for the best. So, and like this this makes me think of like. Uh, I, I heard it, I was listening to a podcast, and I, I'm not going to go too much into it, but there was, like, a guy who was, like, a Bitcoin... This is, like, an extreme example of what Default is Awesome kind of is to me, but, like, it was this guy who, like, lost a bunch of... He, he uh, I think his wife convinced him to sell all of his Bitcoin in, like, 2018, maybe, like, before everything happened, and he, uh, you know, he sold it all, and then all of a sudden he realized that after COVID happened, after, you know, the whole Bitcoin thing happened, that he basically lost out on millions and millions of dollars. And while, yeah, I mean that, okay, th this is a really extreme example of me not getting views on YouTube. <laughs> it's just, it, 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 but basically what I'm saying is like, just because you lost out on doing something at one point doesn't mean... Uh, this really isn't a good analogy, huh? Because this is money. I'm talking about views. Uh, just because you lost out on doing something at one point doesn't mean that it's worth crying over. It doesn't mean that it's all at loss. It, and it means that, you know, the life experiences that you've had at that point are different than the ones you had now. Now you know. Now, now you know more, you know? Now you're playing Binding of Isaac and getting absolutely fucked up by these little stone, stone spikies. Um, yeah, honestly, I kind of lost track of where I was going with that example. But basically, I regret quitting Default is Awesome for this long. But I don't regret quitting Default. I don't regret... I, 
it, it was always ready. It was always waiting for me to come back. And while, in a way, it's kind of like I'm looking back at the past. And a lot of people would say, like, oh, keep looking for the future. Keep looking toward the future. Keep trying to figure out. But at the end of the day, like, you know, I feel like Default is Awesome is a great way to get my music out there. I feel like it's a great way to get my voice out there. I feel like it's a great way to network and communicate. And I feel like it's a great way to inspire other people. So that's why I'm excited to get back in here. Uh, that's why I'm excited to... That's why I was so excited to stream uh, Chain Together with Alex. Actually, right when he said, yo, uh, we should buy this game, I was like, all right, uh, you want to stream it? Because I've been, like, it's just... Oh, I just... I miss doing what I want. I feel like a lot... Sorry, I was just going to let the mom uh, scream there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get all the way to the end. I'm glad I beat the mom in this uh, playthrough. I don't know if I'm going to get all the way to the heart. <laughs> But I do want to say that I feel like I've been spending so much of my youth trying to appease to other people and kind of trying to putting in too much effort into fitting in instead of actually doing what I want to do or what I feel like I need to do. And I feel like Default is Awesome is my way of doing that. I feel like it's my way of being true to myself. It's my way of being true to the inner kid in me. Uh, you know, And it, it's also my... Oh, God. It's also my way of... Oh, okay. I guess that's where I'm ending this episode, uh, which is good because I was starting to run out of steam of things to talk about. But, um, sh and just because that happened, now I forgot what I was talking about. Fuck, what was I talking about? Uh, yeah, Default is Awesome was like, you know, as a kid, it was just, it felt, it felt right to do. And now I've had life experience and now I'm able to revisit it and, it feels good to be back. It feels good to be talking out on the mic again. It feels it felt good to be playing Chain together with Alex. It was probably a weird thing to come back on. It was probably like a weird little uh oh, sorry, my brain's starting to slow down. It, it was a weird it was, it was an interesting game to start it back up on. It, and I, I'm glad we did, because we got some funny moments out of it. And now we were able to, you know, take the live stream, take TikToks out of it, kinda make our thing. And just kind of learn about the new YouTube landscape and the environment and the community as we go. And it's uh, it's going to be an interesting journey. And if any of you guys are watching, if anyone out there in the world is listening to me right now, come hop on the journey with us. We'll all grow together. We'll all have some nice laughs. We'll have some nice times. You know, I forever urge all of my listeners to make sure that they're also working on their own journeys so don't you know spend all your time listening to me but if you guys want to hang out and you know make some memories and make some laughs play some games uh talk a little bit i love engaging with the stream too that's what i like about live is while i'm playing games i you know there are watchers popping on coming in to hang out and i could just you know talk to them uh, <laughs> Uh, even though it distracts me while yeah, Alex is yelling at me while we're playing Chain Together. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh, I, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm excited. I'm excited uh, to start this again. I'm, start, I'm excited to... Uh, I'm excited for Default is Awesome. I'm excited for the future. And I think uh, I came back at a good time. And... I can't wait to see what the future holds. I can't wait to see what crazy characters y'all are out there uh, for me to, to meet through this and to grow on this journey together. And yeah, that's that's uh, all I got. This has been Default is Awesome. I'll see you guys later.